SHOT SHOW 2016 at the Lens Light booth with Brett. How you doing, brother? Uh, doing well. Yourself? Good, good. I'm Stuart. Good, good. I don't think I've met you before. Uh, Brett Ashcar with Lens Light. Yeah, yeah. And okay. we're out of North Hollywood. Yes, you are. Couldn't help but notice. And of course, I already know where you are. But uh, yeah, yeah. You got to love the area, right? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Lots, Lots of, of entertaining fun, yeah. things going yeah, on we, there. We still keep it relevant there. Still making stuff. <laughs> still making yeah. real things. You know, we're making real things. Manufacturing. Not just you know? fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Not just fantasy. But we do do some of that. You know, part of our other company, we do gyro stabilized camera equipment, dollies, camera cranes, support equipment. So that kind of originally came about in terms of our manifestation of the lens system. Uh, so that, came, that, that gave the idea of the control on a set stage, not allowing light to interfere with a set stage scenario. No kidding, so, so took, that's like the foundation of the, the company. the foundation of the company, exactly. So we took that idea, ran with it, brought it into a military grade durable package. And when was that? When were you doing that kind of work? Uh, that's about in 06, actually. 2006? 2006, okay. yeah. And so for at least a few years, and then when did you start getting into actual, you know, uh, equipment that uh, guys about, would be it's using? about before. three years old now in terms of this new product line, uh, where we have a weapon system. Everything is actually built to that durability standard, be able to be mounted. Uh, it has a thermal epoxy for uh, vibration isolation. The LED is secured in a manner where it will never shear off. We've ran hundreds of thousands of rounds through rifles that have been mounted. It's been, a lot, it's been a lot of fun figuring out. Now, you uh, said the LED would never shear off, but you haven't ever had me carrying this in the field. That's true. I bre I'm notorious for breaking things a that's lot. That's true. Go ask Dwayne, though, at Strider. He'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, there you yeah, go. He, he's put it through the test. Okay, good deal. So um, what do you have that might be, you know, obviously the, the company's been around. You've been involved in making lighting devices yeah. for guys who are end users in the field for exactly. at least three years. Um, what's, what's, you know, kind of new on the uptake? Well, what's new is we have our, you know, XPG2 LED systems, our XML2 LED system, and we get about a 0.1% yield from Cree in terms of light flux and CRI. So what's unique about that is normally you get an override of flux, so it's very blue or green. We need a high quality light that gives true rendition of what sunlight represents for feedback of information. So we, we And is this going back to the, the foundation of, of fil the film it, industry? It is that foundation, but it also is the relevant relevance of a light tool. When you're using it in a life and death scenario or a high dollar scenario where you know your natural resource exploration, telecom, you need to know what things are truly. Right. So greens are greens, blues are blues, reds are reds, and that gives you instantaneous feedback and ability to react correctly. Yeah, okay, um, and, and I appreciate that additional explanation because yeah. quite frankly in, in my experience it's just a matter of I need something to light up really bright and for a long time so yeah, uh, and what this does and I'm not one of those guys who's yeah. like really worried about you know you'll hear about the the light flashlight aficionados or torch aficionados that have to have the whitest white and they'll do the the thing on the on the white wall yeah. where they're comparing the white I'm not usually so concerned about that but in certain professions it's a critical issue. Yeah, color rendition is the critical issue. That gives you true information feedback. Right. And if you notice on these lights, for instance, on the flood, you get a clean overall flood deviation. So it's all usable area. Right. Uh, so for inspection purposes, you know, inventory, um, any kind of scenario where you need large scale feedback in a quick scenario, this gives you very viable, very viable light tool. Uh, you focus this down. And it goes from a close quarter capability to a multi-hundred yard capability. So you got a lot of throw, what, a what's lot usually of throw. referred to as throw. Yeah. Exactly. So now you can you can uh, see you know uh, through a window. You can you can see whether a license plate is uh, you know what you're looking for. Seeing the dress of a home. And I like how this is adjustable. I like I, I wasn't I'm not familiar with it. So okay. So that, know, please do. That's one of our patents is the adjustability factor. So that gives you that flood to long range capability. To the, the, They're very the dynamic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, now, are the, uh, now this, these are lights that have been available for a while? Uh, they've been available for a little while. The three cell right here has been probably the most recent addition. 850 lumens for well over two hours of run time. Our low of five lumens runs for 100 hours plus. So for a survival situation, uh, it gives you multiple days of light. Constant. For long run. For long run. Now, is this a one, two, three uh, driven by one, two, three? one, two, three right. driven light. It'll also take rechargeables. Okay. Um, but we prefer primary cells that are consistent, reliable. They're becoming cheaper. Uh, it's what military and law enforcement readily demand, honestly. Right. And what is this model? What do you call this? Uh, that's just our three, one, two, three, honestly. That's what we go with. Three, one, two, three. Yeah, three, one, Beautiful. two, three. Keep easy, it simple. Easy to know what you're dealing yeah. with. And uh, how about this model? This one's our KO. Uh, it's a two cell model. Uh, and this is the mini. This is our single cell model. Okay, very uh, These good. have titanium clips on them. This is a Delrin clip. 
So the Delrin clip is a natural return to position, won't scratch your watch, won't scratch your car, and made for positive molly engagement. Uh, this is titanium, it gives a good pocket ride um, in terms of depth. Uh, you won't find titanium clip on a lot of uh, products that are production grade. Now is your single CR123 model, is it, does it have the adjustable lens as well? It does, they all have the adjustable lens. Oh, outstanding. Yep, they're all made out of 7075 aluminum. They're type 3 hard anodized. These variants here are type 3 hard anodized and then they're laser etched. So we remove different layers of the anodizing to give you that gray scale and white scale. That gives you that digicam pattern. Right, it's pretty right. unique. Now, this model here, is this one and the same as the... the it first, is. The, the, three, the surface okay. treatment is just uh, different. Just a, yeah, just a different finish. Very good. Now, your, uh, your weapons mount. Yep. We make a weapon mount platform. It'll fit on any conventional uh, scout mount system. So you have your choice as a consumer. So you can buy the light standalone. In terms of unique features, that focus system allows for you to mount your light as close as you want and basically wherever you want. So you put it back here, it's almost zero barrel shadow. A normal system, you'd be lighting it up all the way. So right. as I pull the focus out, you see how it starts impacting. You not only identify but, yourself, but you can also give yourself a little exactly. flashback back in your own face. So that gives you freedom of movement of the light, of where you want to mount it. Um, also, you know, people are running cans nowadays, and they have a lot of problems mounting lights and having their can, <laughs> getting all the light, blowing it up, and, and you know, they're, you know, it defeats the purpose. It becomes non-tactical. Right. Um, so this really accentuates the slick rail platforms that are becoming the, the norm nowadays because you can mount the light right up to the rail. And again, this is your mount, correct? Um, that mount is actually American Defense mount. Okay, very good. Um, we're able to mount to any system, so we give the end consumer the choice. And you, um, have, you have the barrel of the flashlight actually uh, built for a mount on it on, on the side. Yeah, so that's a billet integrated mounting system right there. Billet integrated yeah, mounting system. So that's 7075 aluminum. You're not gonna break it. Beautiful. That's, that's cut out of a solid bar stock right. of 7075. What would be a price point on this uh, on this flashlight? Uh, that is 225 standalone without the mount. Without the mount. Do you also sell the mount along? We do. Okay. What would it be as a unit? 275. 275 and that's MSRP, correct? Okay, very good. And uh, if you would just go ahead and give me the rundown on MSRP on your three uh, MSRP is 215 on the three cell. Uh, it is 185 on our standard KO. This is the laser treatment on, so there's a little bit of an upcharge for that. Uh, 160 for the mini in either color, black or tan. Okay, and, and uh, with, depending on the on the finish as well, correct? Depending on the finish. The, the black and the tan are the same price point. Okay, very good. And of course, on this one, you have the crenellated bezel. Yep, crenellated uh, bezel. It's interchangeable whether you want the crenellated or the smooth. Okay. We offer that as an option. Very good. And of course, you're not doing the super aggressive crenellation, which is kind of nice. It's kind of, uh, it can be difficult to explain the super aggressive version yeah, if you have to. Plus, you know, people like to carry our lights, so we like to make it so it's comfortable. It right. won't wear through the pocket. You make it too sharp and people start you know it starts being impactual to the end user yeah, you start um, looking like a uh, you start looking like a, a hype yeah <laughs> start yeah. looking like a user exactly okay, very good exactly. anything else that you'd like to uh mention brett uh you know we're all made in america lifetime guarantee all of our materials are DFAR certified and uh we look forward to you know taking care of all of our customers uh it's really something that sets us apart and what we strive for is the customer service end of things yeah, yeah. to where if you have a problem it's not it's really no questions asked Take, uh, take care of the problem, get you a new light uh, type of mentality. Okay, very good. Well, listen, thank you very much. Appreciate the information on yes, your uh, nice on your products you. here. Great rundown, by the way. Good thank presentation, you. appreciate, appreciate it. it. Uh, quick question, you like cigars? I do. What kind do you like? <laughs> do you have a particular <laughs> preference, or do you, you have, have a, you like preference. Maduro, natural, uh, any, just whatever you got, right? Yeah. I mean, so, what do you like to pair up with it? <laughs> Um, I like a uh, good Woodford. Uh huh. To pair good, up good. with it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That'll work. Kind of, kind of cozy. Yeah, cozy. Cozy. Yeah, cozy. Cozy. It'll work. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean, not really a, a aficionado, so yeah. once in a while, it's time to celebrate. When is the right time to decompress, right? Exactly. Listen, brother, you have a safe trip home and enjoy your show. Yeah, thank you. You too. Thank Appreciate you. it.